Hey everyone, it's Allie with Colors of Hope Crafts, and today we're going to be making some art bats for my video on Paul Worth and Cordell Yarn, and uh, we're just going to have some fun. If you want to see that video, I will leave a link in the description below once it is already uh, uploaded. And so I've already spun up some of the Corydale that I'm going to be using and in this bat I decided that for this video I'm going to I was going to spin up part of it um, just regularly so you guys could see how it looked spun up regularly and then I was going to make some art yarn to go along with it. I'm going to be doing that using what's left of the Corydale. And I'm also going to use uh, a blend of Corydale and bamboo and, and silk. And then I'm going to use this merino, uh, the, this merino and sari silk blend. And finally, I will use also be using this rambouillet. So uh, we'll have some fun. And oh, and last but not least, we will using some Firestar because I don't subscribe to the belief that you can ever have too much sparkles in the L's in an art bat. Okay, so if you've never seen Athena before, this is Athena. She is my baby brother, Dorm Carter. And she's very effective at making some unintentional ASMR for you people. And I'm thinking I will make two or three bats um, today. I'm just gonna start by putting the Corydell on the tray here and start on the crank. Also, sorry about my lighting in this video. I don't know what's going on with my ring light. It just apparently doesn't wanna work today, but so we're just doing what we can with, with uh, the natural lighting that's coming in from our window. So if you didn't see that, I uh, pulled the... If you didn't see me pull the Cordell uh, strip in half, that's what I did, because it's easier to break into little pieces. Because um, Cordell is kind of a coarser wool, and it has very, and it has a very long, uh, as a very long staple length, which is great for spinning, but not so great for um, for doing this. Right. Next, I'm gonna add some uh, some purple. This has bamboo and. And sorry, silk and cordell in it. And this is so light and fluffy that I think I just need to go like that. That'll work better. Some more with the blue, but this time I'm gonna paint it over. In some ways, I prefer the painting method, honestly. I have a little bit more control over where it goes.
had some rambouillet. I I'm wanting this these bats to be nice and fluffy. Also want them to be very colorful, of course. Okay, add some more blue. If you've never been here before, um, it's really important to me that I make relaxing and relax make videos for you that are relaxing and fun to watch. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos where I'm making art bats. I've had a lot of people join since I made my last uh, video with Athena. And honestly, I do love spinning in art yarn. And maybe for my braid study project, I'll do more art yarn spinning. Got some Firestar. Just because you can like I said, you can't have enough sparkles. Or rather, you can't have too much sparkles. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. primary wool in this in these two bats will be the Corydale whether it's the purple or the or the blue since it is for the Corydale and Paulworth video This is a better angle for you.
Okie dokie, this should be pretty good. So, my husband thinks this looks like troll's hair, and we'll see how it how the next one looks. So this is how they turned out. I'm really excited. I did eh, and I'm looking forward to spinning them up. I'm thinking I'll either do a core spun or um, plying it with the other Cordell. Um, I thought I knew what I wanted to do, but of course when I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, here's some other ideas I have, but that's how I am. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I make art bats. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see how the sheep breed study project is going, please check out this playlist up here. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.